straight up. Yo, I was listening to your EP, Figure Eight, right? And outside of the MCing, outside of the singing, I felt some like, I don't know, I felt some journey in there. Like I felt some, like, am I wrong? Am I in a, am I in a bad place? Let me know. Well, you're definitely not in a bad place because music is always open to interpretation. Am I inspired by Journey? Probably not. But if that's how you feel, hey, look, we, we're talking about them 25 years later. There's like what? This one moment and I really connected. You know what happened? I used to live in Long Island. Oh, wow. So, that would explain a lot. That would do it. Nassau or Suffolk? Well, Nassau, then oh. Suffolk, then back to Brooklyn, though. So, okay, so I redeem myself? You are redeemed. Brooklyn, all day. So, who are your influences? Oh, I mean, I'm inspired and influenced by so much. I, I would say I, I grew up listening to Stevie Wonder and the Beatles. Love Tribe Called Quest. Kanye West, obviously, most deaf. Um, you know, I was always in the rock and roll, I was in the punk rock, I was in the drum and bass, so, you know, I think we're all the generation, we're the iPod generation, so, I mean, we just listen to so much stuff, you know, at all different types of genres, so, I'm in, I mean, I'm inspired daily, you know, so. And just for people that don't know, our new, our new viewers, tell them where you're from and, like, how, just that little bit of how you got to, to Governor's Ball today, like, the journey. Sure. Well, um, I'm from Yonkers, New York, which is a suburb like 20 minutes out, 30 minutes out from the city. Um, but I came up in New York City, you know, Manhattan and Brooklyn. Uh, I put out my first mixtape in 2008. Um, I put out like five, six mixtapes. I can't even remember the exact number. I think five. And then the EP. Uh, I signed to Warner Brothers last year. Uh, just put out an EP called Figure Eight. You can get it on iTunes. Uh, but you can also download it for free, really. We're just giving you the option because we're just still building the audience. Um, over the past year, I I've just put out like songs and videos you know, that have gone on a lot of different websites. And, you know, Governor's Ball reached out to me uh, probably in the winter and just was, you know, hit me up like, yo, do you want to perform? And uh, I didn't really know anything about the festival at the time. It was still in its early stages, but... Just the idea of rocking in your backyard and rocking at Governor's Island. I was just super excited, so I said, hell yeah. And then it turns out you got Big Boy, you got Girl Talk, you got Mac Miller, and you're like, oh shit, this is even, this is great, you know, so. so last question, in this iPod age, as you, as you said before, um, what's the hardest thing about building an audience? Well, I think there's a lot of content out there. So I think the hardest thing about building an audience is getting the audience's attention, you know what I mean? Because there's so many mediums for an artist to put stuff out that you're talking about. Yeah, an artist just has to catch you, you know what I mean? And then there's just so much stuff, and there's so much stuff to process. So, you know, it, it's a, sometimes like catching lightning in a bottle, but, uh, you know, I haven't had any cosigns. I haven't done any, like, huge collabs. You know, I've only done collaborations with my homies. So, like, you know, I've brought work with Freddie Gibbs and Asher Rob, but those are homies, you know what I mean? So, I think really for me the growth has been an extremely organic. It's like day to day. Every day is growing and uh, uh, I'm super proud of it. I'm super happy and really the fans that I have are just amazing. So they just inspire me. What up is out of sight. You are watching Random Acts of Music with Society H-A-E. Peace.